welcome to another event with Hi TV, your luxury channel. Today we are here at the Embassy of Japan in Sri Lanka where we are celebrating the 64th birthday of His Excellency the Emperor of Japan. Stay tuned with Hi Events to find out more. Ladies and gentlemen, one cannot begin talking about the relationship between Japan and Sri Lanka without going back to 1951. At the San Francisco Peace Conference that year, late President J.R. Jawardana sowed a seed of our friendship that would last generations that followed. In his historic speech at the conference, H.E.J.R. Jawardana was steadfast in asserting that the victors should treat Japan with generosity and usher it into the post-World War II international community as a free and independent nation. Without his contribution at the conference, Japan's post-war history would have been starkly different. As ambassador of Japan in Sri Lanka, this moment in 1951 has always been the place to revisit when I think about how best we should navigate through the challenging times of today with Sri Lanka. It is indeed a great pleasure to join you to celebrate the birthday of His Majesty the Emperor of Japan. On behalf of His Excellency, the President Ranil Vikramasinghe, the government and people of Sri Lanka, I extend warmest felicitation and heartiest good wishes to his Imperial Majesty Emperor Naruhito, the Emperor of Japan, on the occasion of His Majesty's 64th birthday, which is celebrated as Japanese National Day. I recall the audience President Ranil Vikramasinghe had with His Majesty in September 2022 in Tokyo, and the visits by members of imperial family to Sri Lanka, I avail myself of this opportunity to convey warm felicitation to His Imperial Majesty the Emperor and members of the imperial family on this most auspicious occasion. <laughs> with Mr. Vikramarachi. Mr. Vikramarachi, can you tell us about how you are feeling here at the Embassy of Japan on His Majesty's birthday celebration? Yeah, I can see the peace here and uh, everybody uh, get together and meeting each other, every country, every politician. So this is a good kind of gathering that to make the peace and prosperity in future for the whole world. So I can see how even our people are together at this moment and getting into understanding how to make the peace in the world and Sri Lanka. So I love it. I love the high, getting in this kind of events and keeping us moving forward for the peace. with Minister Vijay Dasa Rajapaksha. Minister, can you tell us about your experience here at the Embassy of Japan on His Excellency's 64th birthday, the Emperor of Japan? Yeah, that this is a little bit uh, unusual. In most of the countries, they celebrate their national day on the day that they acquired their independence. But Japanese people are so fond of their emperor and they treat that uh, embassy, that is uh, Emperor's birthday as their national day and they celebrate. I have a very close link with the uh, Japanese embassy during the last uh, two decades. And not only about my personal experience, it's an experience of all Sri Lankans. Since, especially since 1951, where just after the conclusion of the uh, World War, second, then uh, United Nations, that conference was held in San Francisco. 
there are over 30 to 40 countries who were demanding reparation from Japan and they wanted to fix Japan. But although that's our, we don't have, we don't realize much value about our own leaders. That uh, J.R. Jawadana, at that time being the finance minister who represented Sri Lanka, he turned the entire world history to a different direction. And with his uh, discourse only, all the representatives from every part of the world agreed. Now this is not a time that we should punish Japan, this is a time that we must uh, lend our hands to uh, come up in their developments. Finally, that's, uh, it's great that we must admire the Japanese people. Now they have reached to their target, but still we have failed <laughs> in our politics, local politics. Uh, but with that, we told that during last one and a half years time, we undertook a great uh, responsibility at a time where there was nobody to take the responsibility in the country. We are quite happy that we have almost reached to a normalcy. Still there are more issues to be resolved, we will do. We are determined to do. And as history has shown us, where we help, they help us. Is that true of this friendship? Yeah, always that international relationship like, you know, husband and wife. <laughs> two like two friends that is you know mutual that by developing by strengthening our uh, friendship among two countries they become stronger we become stronger it's mutually beneficial for both well, one thing i also must make a special note uh, without mentioning any other country one thing i must say the biggest the support that had been extended to us as a foreign nation without expecting a single penny from us is Japan. My role in the growth of our town. I never thought my first job would take me so far. It's amazing how our bridge just transformed this area. Our little school got world class cricket equipment and training. We are rehabilitating this reef to protect Sri Lanka's heritage and the world's ecosystem. Tati, I'm calling you from the 40th floor. And we're going higher, much, much higher. Binding our stories together, past, present and future. The Tokyo Cement Group. Colombo Dockyard PLC has been a ship repair and shipbuilding center, serving the regional and international maritime stakeholders since 1974. Colombo Dockyard PLC has evolved into one of the region's leaders in shipbuilding, ship repairs, heavy engineering, and offshore engineering, building on a record that's been tested and proven time and again. Over the past four and a half decades, Colombo Dockyards have proven its capability by successfully handling over 10,000 ship repair projects and more than 250 shipbuilding projects to a multitude of local and international players. Colombo Dockyard PLC, an odyssey of excellence. I'm here with Ambassador Mizukoshi of Japan. Mr. Mizukoshi, can you tell us the significance of His Majesty's the Emperor of Japan's birthday celebration happening here right at the Embassy of Japan in Sri Lanka. Well, um, the reception for the birthday of the Emperor of Japan, it is um, you know, celebrated in Japan and overseas, but uh, this celebration in Sri Lanka has a very special meaning at this time because uh, now Sri Lanka's economy is uh, picking up 
and uh, cooperation between Japan and Sri Lanka have you know, made some fruits. So um, it's a good time for celebrating our past cooperation and uh, for me to show commitment to the future cooperation. That's a wrap, folks. We thank our viewers for staying with us here tonight while we celebrate the 64th birthday of His Majesty, the Emperor of Japan, right here at the Embassy of Japan in Sri Lanka. My name is Adisha Chalanka, and until next event, take care.